Right, we have, I have plugged in the network cable, positioned the home center, and now all I have to do is put the plug in. So the light's flashing, that's good. That's a very good sign. Um, then they'll turn off. That means everything's ready. All we have to do now is just press the power at the back of the home center. So just press that once, all the LEDs light up and start flashing. In this particular mode, we're starting up as normal. So all the LEDs are flashing from right to left, as you can see, and slowly they're becoming solid. That's all part of the boot up process. So once all the LEDs have become solid, then they'll go off again, and then we should have just the first three LEDs on, as in power, local connection in the home network, and then the third one is the connection to the internet. Usually takes a minute or so for it to do that. Once that is done, then we can move back onto the computer and uh, do the rest of the stuff from there. So everything's okay so far. Light come on. So that's power, local and main internet. And that means our home center is now ready and all on the network. And the fourth light that just flashed was just a Z wave. At the moment, we're not gonna see anything coming on there because we've got no modules attached. So that light will turn on again at the moment. So next part, let's go on to the desktop. Right, uh, welcome back. Now we're on our computer now. So first things first, we need to try and locate the IP address of the home center. And to do that, what we do need is a little utility called Fibaro Finder. What that does, that just tells us what the IP address of the home center is, and therefore we can use that to log in. So first thing we need to do is log on to the web and go on to an app um, to the fibaro.com slash UK website here and click on support as that's where we need to do some downloads. Once we're there, a bit further down is here. Fibaro Finder for Windows and Fibaro Finder for Mac. Um, currently I'm using a Mac, therefore I will use, download, well I have already downloaded Fibaro Finder on here. So, so I just download that and then install. So let's get rid of that. So, okay. I've already installed Fibaro Finder. So what I'll do is I'll load it up. And yes, I will allow new connections. Uh, I don't need to update now. I'll do that later. As you can see, it's found two home centers. The bottom one here is my personal home center that I'm using at home. And the one I've just set up now is this top one. It's this new one. And its IP is being given as 10.0.1.57. So that is the IP address I will use to log in to the home center. So we don't need that anymore. So we can just quit it. And all I would do is now type in 10.0.1.57 and now it's loading up. Now the default usernames and passwords are admin and admin and that logs us in. First thing we need to do is update. So let's just view the update and it tells you all a bit of information about the update. Um, what I found is on the updates it's best to have to go back onto the forums and if I go back onto here Fibaro forum it's best always to come onto the Fibaro forum here create um, sign up here is absolute wealth of information home center, all the modules, 
um, any ideas and solutions if you've got questions on how to create a scene or if this particular product is compatible this is one of the best places to go to also not only do you have support from the community and other users you also have the Fibaro guys on here as well answering questions as well so you probably get a, a quick answer it also goes through the different system updates and if you click on there it, as you can see here the latest update the beta firmwares etc they're all on here and once you uh, once you go onto here it will give you all the different um, any issues that any many people may anybody that may have so I will just quickly log in and it, all the updates information and everything is already on here and this is the latest update 4.110 and all we do is go up here have a look the all the different things that many people may have uh, any bugs or any issues you can read that and then you can decide whether you do want to do the update or not so let's just do the update and go through all the blurb um, sign the risks and click on install and that's it after a few moments usually about four or five minutes the updates are completed but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause it for now and come back to it later oh and that's the window you'll see what it's been doing okay update process is now completed successfully this is you indicated on the home center itself the fact that the three lights are back on again the three blue LEDs power local connection and internet connection so now what we need to do is open up our browser and type in the IP address usually it doesn't change it keeps it the same if it if you find that you type it in and it doesn't log you back in it means that the IP address has changed and you need to use the Fibaro finder again but usually it always finds the IP for you when it first starts up it can take uh, a few extra minutes and sometimes what we have to do is um, reset Safari by clearing all the data it's just one of those browser cache things once it's reset it should be all empty all the memory should be empty and hopefully it'll then log us straight back in voila it's a quirk I don't know why but it always does that after an update then we log in with the uh, username and password that we originally had so admin and admin and it should open up the wizard so let's click on configure so first step completed we've already done the firmware update which is brilliant we're on the latest firmware next we need to then put in an email address so I'll put in mine Well, info at yorkshireautomation.co.uk perfect let's put a password in as secure as possible and we'll add that so now that becomes our admin code it's now sent an email to me for a verification so what I'm going to do is log on to my email which I have on my phone it's arrived so open up the message and I've got a verification code 208 465 and I'll confirm it so that's set next part do you want to use yes always click yes it means it then sets a pin number once that pin number has been set you can use the uh, alarm scenes or if you want to use a panel built-in panel you can do or I prefer to use my own scenes um, but you need to set a pin so let's set a pin at the moment I'm just gonna go for one two three oh, one two three and four later on um, you can get that you can change that in the admin code or you can set the one that you want right now and enter the here well I'm gonna call it home we'll just call it home 
on next. Then it's location data. So here we can put our location data in. So here's the office address and then click on next. And it's done, finish. So now my local information, email information, user, sorry, my user ID, password has also been updated. My location data has been updated. The whole home center has been updated. So now everything is fully updated and everything's ready and to work and that's it. So the hard part is done. The next part is, um, well, not the hard part, well, one part is done now. The next part is to start um, creating some rooms and sections, which we'll look at in our next video. So see you then.